Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day 10 of the unhaul project where basically we're going through every shelf that I own books on and we're going through them one book at a time. For uh, this portion of the, for this video, we will be going through my uh, fantasy shelf. Yeah, it's very, very small. I don't read a lot of fantasy. So uh, let's get into it. And my one sci-fi book. So let's start with my one sci-fi book. So this is Now and When by Sarah Bennett Wheeler. This follows this girl who wakes up 20 years in the future and she is married to her crush, I think. And uh, then she comes back to present day and yeah. Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel underwhelmed by this book and I'm just not entirely sold on it being for me, so I'm going to unhaul that one. Then I have Magic Study and Poison Study by Maria B. Snyder, which like I'm kind of on the fence about for both of these because it's part of the same st series. I think it starts with Poison Study. It's magic, mayhem, and murder. So it kind of gives me like the Ravens vibes, which if you're new around here, you wouldn't know that the Ravens is probably the book last year that I read and like just threw in your face every single video to make you read it. So if you haven't read the Ravens by Cass Morgan and Daniel Page, please read it. Um, so on that aspect, I really want to read this and I want to keep them, but I do have Kindle versions of them. So I'm kind of torn because I know that if I like, if I read the ebooks and I like them, then I'm going to want physical copies because that's how I am. But like, how long is it going to take me to actually get to them? So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. That maybe pile is getting extra big though. Disney and Malnificent. Mm. Malnificent may be known as a wicked villainess, but she didn't start out that way. To be honest with you, this one actually sounds really good. And I'm wondering... Ooh. Whoops. So it's got black sprayed edges and it's got like these spider webs on them. So I think I'm going to keep this one for now. So any books that I'm keeping right now can be like looked at again in the future and change and I can change my mind. I think that this one does sound really good. I'm just not really in a fantasy mood very often and when I am I usually want to read the witchy books but a dark villain backstory is always a lot of fun too so we'll keep it there's Catwoman Soul Seeker Soul Stealer by Sarah J Moss so I never really thought that I would read a Sarah J Moss book but oh you know what okay that just made it super easy for me I'm gonna be unhauling this because it's DC iconic superhero iconics meet mega star authors so Wonder Woman is by Lee Bardugo Batman is Marie Lou Catwoman is Sarah J Mass and Superman is Matt de la pena um i don't really like those kind of series where a different writer writes each one and i know that technically i don't 
have to read all of them because they're the type of series where you don't have to read every single one but I'm also the type of reader that would want to read all of them I'm no longer interested so I'm hauling that okay then there's City of Villains by Estelle Lore again this is Maleficent um they made us the villains. Hmm. So the thing is, I don't, I don't know. Okay, they made us the villains. Mary Elizabeth Hart is a high school senior by day but by night she's an intern at the Monarch City Police Department. She, walks in, she watches with envy from behind a desk as detectives come and go trying to contain the city's growing crime rate. For years, tension has simmered between the city's wealthy elite and the residents of the decaying neighborhood called The Scar, once upon a time the epic center of all things magic. You know what, I'll keep it for now, but this one probably will be the, the first one I change my mind on, being honest. Okay. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jeminson. And I know what you're thinking, Alita, didn't you just buy that? You would be correct, sir. I did just buy this, but I am also unhauling it. I bought it because... Kayla won't stop talking about it and she says it's her favorite book of the year so far. I'm not into it at all. I have no idea what it's about. Don't really care. Need to stop buying books just because other booktubers say to. And lastly is uh Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. I'm gonna end all this one too. Okay, wow, we did really good. We only have oh, three and then two on the movies. So, thank you for watching this. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you want to be a part of my unhaul journey and my TBR zero journey, basically where we're trying to get my TBR to zero.